Yo, I'm in my garage. I'm gonna sell these on eBay. So I don't understand 90% of the shit that people do while being quarantined. So I decided to immerse myself in their culture. All right, what you do now? Take their secrets. Stretch it up. Now you don't want it to tear. What do I do now? And bring it back to my house so I can have something to do. I'm King Kiron, and this is that quarantine shit. Ah! Ah! So when I started this show, I swore I wasn't gonna do no knitting. Roll the tape. But I've told my producers, I'm not gonna knit no socks. I'm not gonna sew a quilt. I'm not gonna crochet. But you know, with this quarantine shit going on and me having nothing to do, fuck it. I'm about to knit. To me, it's more about like actually making something. Like you have string and two sticks in your hand, you know? And you're gonna make an actual item that you can use every day. All right. Hey, how are you? All right, how are you doing? I'm good, are you, are you ready today? I'm not as ready as my grandma, but I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. <laughs> um, it's always the grandmas that teach us how to knit, so. That's... Yeah, what's up with you and knit? Why not go to TJ Maxx for your clothes? Um, do you go to TJ Maxx for your clothes? No, I don't, but you know, I thought TJ Maxx, you know, that was good. You know, at least you, people who want to bargain shop, they're going to go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Ross. Uh, I do love a, a $3 sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I did pull some stuff, like uh, I, had a, I have a collaboration with Marvel and I oh. do um, like a little sweater line for the, every movie that comes out. And uh, so I pulled the, some Black Panther stuff. How you know I wanted to see Black Panther stuff? Because you're black. <laughs> no, it's too late. You, it's too late. You already said it. Well, but I, you're right. I do want to see Black Panther like, stuff. Go on, show it to me. So this is like based off of this suit. Uh-huh, I see it. Now I can like store the energy up. So that's what those uh -huh. like, that's for. Wow, you needed that yourself, the whole thing. Yeah, I did. And you are gonna, you'll do it too. It's, this is your, this is what you're gonna learn today. So how many people have you taught to knit? Am I in good hands with you right now? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Um, I mean, you're not gonna die from this. So, I mean, that'll be, that'll be good. Um, At least that's one thing I won't die from today. All right, well, let's get it then. All right. So um, for you today, I'm really excited because um, we are going to do um, something that a lot of people, it's like really on trend right now. And um, we're gonna do a face mask. Nothing takes your mind off a global pandemic like a face mask. All right, I, I, I don't think it's gonna protect nothing, but it's gonna yeah. look good. It's not gonna protect you from anything. Uh, <laughs> look, if I go outside and get sick, I might as well look good while doing it. Two stitches is all knitting is, and um, they're actually called basic stitches. So today will be like two basic stitches just like getting it done. I know Josh ain't calling us basic bitches with basic stitches. Cause if I'm going to knit, I'm going to knit like a player. I'm going to make anything look gangster. That's the thing about me. You know what I'm saying? Everything going to look gangster that I do, even knitting. So your needle and you have your yarn. You're going to want to like pull like an arm's length of what we call a tail. So <laughs> you're going to grab the tail and just pull like an arm's length. All right, got it. So now you'll have like two strands, right? You're gonna take your left hand and grab both strands of the yarn. Okay. Right. So grab both strands. Now your pointer finger and your thumb are gonna come through like you're parting the curtains. Perfect, awesome. So right where where we fold it in half, you're gonna make a slip knot. Just when I thought this was the whitest thing I ever done, this man talking about slip knot. I'll show you again. So just hold it and twist it. Okay, I'm still at the twist. Okay, wait. All right, so we're here. Now twist your yarn. There you go. And then all you wanna do is grab the, the yarn that's underneath and pull it through the loop. You're literally just creating like a slip knot or a knot. And I think, is that a knot? I think. Yeah, oh, that's perfect, good. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this 
now I'm about to be the knit wizard. I'm gonna knit hats, coats, blankets, sweaters, shirts, pants, whatever you want. I got it. I'm about to be the new Macy's. All right, so then we're gonna take our needle that we have and we are going to place that in the loop. So we have our needle in our right hand. Yes? Uh huh? Yeah. We take our left hand again and we're gonna grab both strands of the yarn. Yep, and then our finger and our thumb come through the back. And then this is where we bring the yarn, we bring that straight down to make the bunny ears. So you're gonna start down here. Uh huh. And then just follow that up the thumb. Perfect. You go to the middle of the finger, you go underneath that yarn, great. And then the pad of your thumb and go straight down through that loop. Perfect. And then you can just adjust it to get tight again. Take that off your thumb. Perfect. Yeah, that's it. Okay. How, how the hell did somebody come up with this? How, how did somebody know doing up and around the fingers, take a left and right, would make a damn shirt. <laughs> they, had, they had some time on their hands. You got to really hate yourself and everybody around you to want to spend your time with this fingertip device. I'm starting to look at my grandma way different. So bring it around. Yeah, wow, those are some, that's some arm movement. The closer you get, like the, the closer you, you work with, with it, it's okay. gonna be easier. Okay. Around and shift around. Yep, so it goes down, through, and off. Shit. That's all my producers. I'm not gonna make no stuff. That's okay. The first stitch is always the first stitch is always a little tricky. More like the first stitch is always impossible. I'm gonna have some one after this shit. <laughs> you know. I wish these was, uh, you right, I would stab some right now. So, you know. I'm not gonna this is a very sad moment for me because this is the first time that I've done something and failed. You know, I've I've been able to do taxidermy, I've been able to um, do chainsaws, I've been able to do so many amazing things, but I can't knit. I thought the virus was gonna get me. I ain't never thought I was gonna be bested by a ball of yarn. I'm about to go cry now in the corner because I don't know how to knit. You can take your yarn. All right, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Bullshit. I told y'all though, I'm not gonna knit. I was barely even trying. I told y'all, I'm a man of my word. Yeah, yeah, fold my arms to look real gangster.